Some very important stuff to get to. We have a kind of an expedited housekeeping and a double uh, uplifting gold. Uh, something I need to kind of get out there. I've been wondering if you're a lefty arm wrestler, mm-hmm. do you just have no shot? Yeah, no comp. Well, you have no competition. Oh, interesting. I, I was thinking that you would have to go righty and train to be a righty uh, arm wrestler. Mm. I, I I don't know. We have to ask someone. Yeah, I, I can't speak on. I that. was wondering because I was watching some arm lifting uh, arm wrestling videos and. I was thinking if you're a lefty, if you were to be a champion, you could almost make a movie about like what you overcame. Like I'm a lefty, but I trained righty and I still became a champion. That's true. That could be like a good underdog story. There really is only room for one arm wrestling movie in the world. And that's over the top with Sylvester Stallone. So it's already been done. Lefties, don't worry about it. All right. Yeah, we can we can cut. You know that movie, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The Sylvester Stallone. Okay. Moving on. I just want to get on the record really quick and say this. Mention it in the intro. I'm pretty sure. They're trying to make Chris Pine a lady. What are you referencing? The Harry Styles spit thing? Yeah, he had some beef with Harry Styles, which I don't even care about. Uh, but the pictures I've seen from him lately, from like the movie he's in and all the promo stuff, it, it, it looks like they're trying to make Chris Pine a lady. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is the one that really got me. It looks like someone who's, you know, on their way to being a lady. Like when Bruce Jenner grew his hair out. Mm-hmm. And you knew something was coming. It's the tucking the hair behind the ears. Oh, I yeah. don't think men should do that, you know. Mm-hmm. But then the Hollywood types and some of them do, and that's that's the lady likeness that you're yeah. I think, saying. Plus Absolutely. the blonde. I don't know if he was blonde ever. Yeah. So he's looking like a lady. He's giving off lady vibes. I think they're trying to make Chris Pine a lady. Uh, he's probably in the Illuminati. They probably called his number. Chris, we need you to do this thing. We need you to do this seance ceremony thing and become a lady to subvert the populace. So, What's the end game? What's the goal? Just to encourage more? Just to normalize it and pretend that like sexuality and gender is this <laughs> flowing thing and him and Harry Styles are like guy girls and Harry Styles is so popular and all the girls love him and he's kind of a girl too. He wears a dress. Yep. Chris Pine, same thing. So they're trying to just use the tools they have to promote this uh, sexual ambiguity. Mm. And I think they're calling his number center field. Bring, yeah. Bring in Pine. <laughs> bring, in, bring in Chris. <laughs> um, and then so was the Harry Styles spitting on him part of that? Um, Another humiliation, public humiliation ritual. This is what happens to you if you don't go like a lady. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that is. Um, and I think they just, it brought attention to the everything. And mm-hmm. then it brought attention to a feminized man. Okay. So it's like, oh, did he spit? Did he not spit? Was there an incident? with these two feminized men. And then it's like, oh yeah, men are feminine. That's you know, like it kind of like is a backdoor into accepting yeah. feminized men. All that movie stars and action stars are feminized men. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I think they're cooking up. They're trying to make Chris Pine a lady. Okay. Um, coming into the next piece, we're still in housekeeping. We actually have two pages of housekeeping. It's very important. Whoa. Uh, we're coming into the fall. So obviously with every season, we need new inspiration. We need new outfits. We need new things. Uh, so for this fall season, I am going to be wearing a burgundy velour tracksuit inspired by uh, Polly from The Sopranos. Yeah. So this is Polly's outfit with the white slides and the burgundy tracksuit. And here's my Amazon order, which should be arriving soon. I think this fall, once it cools down, we do a little bit of a, a Sopranos fall, tracksuit fall, mafia mob everywhere. Yeah. I'm going to get the same outfit. I'm going to be placing the same order. Um, and you've done this before, too, right? You've yeah. had a Burgundy Velour. We've had Burgundy Velour track suits when I lived in L.A., uh, so I know it fits. I know it looks good. Um, I just don't want to wear some fat outfit and look like Vito Spadafore. The good news is Vito didn't wear those sweatsuits a lot, so yeah. he's kind of a different outfit guy. But, yeah, I, you're more Vito than Polly. I'm more Vito than Polly, but I'm working on that. We're still in housekeeping. And I'm the Russian. I'm the Russian from The Sopranos, who they hunt in the woods. Oh, the yeah. The blonde guy. Yeah, that's you, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We have important things to get to before uh, Cringe of the Week. We have a couple more things. Uh, guys, it's time to add tzatziki to the fridge. There's obviously condiments everyone has, ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce. And then there's also the next level of condiments, which you add to the fridge, just so you don't have Uber Eats orders ruined. For example, if you order chicken wings, you probably want to have blue cheese in the fridge just in case they forget the blue cheese. Because if you order chicken wings and then don't have blue cheese, your whole meal is pretty much ruined. It's catastrophic. So another thing that falls under that same umbrella is tzatziki. It's the white sauce from Greek food. If you were to order a gyro yesterday and then it came and there's no white sauce and no tzatziki and all you have is hummus to kind of fill the void, it doesn't really fill the void. Mm. 
So that's something we've been dealing with here. And I just want to kind of tell everyone so they don't make the same mistake I made. Guys, it's time to add tzatziki to the fridge. That's fair. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, cool. I don't know if anybody has the same problems that we do. You know, Uber Eats all the time, extra sauce likers, but tzatziki to the fridge. This podcast just endorsed it. Yeah. Some of us have some problems that are similar to that. All right. Uh, next thing, really quick, uh, really good news out of Ukraine. Uh, this old man in Ukraine shot down an SU-34 jet with a rifle. Yeah. Here's a picture of him holding a shotgun. So, wow. Ukrainian pensioner. This is so impressive. Wow. Yeah. Totally real. We need to send some more money to Ukraine so they can finish this war and defeat the Russians for sure. Forget the fact that there's no water in Jackson, Mississippi here in America. We need to get some more money over to Ukraine. Here's what's going on in Kiev. Yeah, forget the. <laughs> Here's a nice little dance club in Kiev. Everyone's having fun. Um, but that's probably a one off. That's an anomaly. Capital city. It's a war zone. Ignore that. We need to send them more money. There's no water in Jackson, Mississippi. Billions more to Ukraine. Right, Dan Crenshaw? Right, Dan? Yeah. Um, I, I made a meme the other day, and it was like me watching them send a billion dollars to Ukraine as I drive over a bridge uh, made in 1971. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. Like, American infrastructure? Are we that good? I don't see any yeah. high-speed rails, boys. We're shipping pallets to Ukraine? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but Dan Crenshaw, he has a conservative youth conference coming up, and the goal is to empower the youth to win the culture war. I guess by giving our money away, endless wars, and wearing mask and photo, Dan. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. We'll be sure to send some spies to your little conference. All right.